Igor talked me into joining the club back in 2008. He was known around Dublin already for being a great, great coach. Um, he decided he wanted to start his own club. He was helping out in different clubs around different areas. In boxing, you have to earn it. No, respect just doesn't get given out randomly. You really have to earn it. And I remember being in uh, St. Saviour's, our, our neighbouring club one day, and I remember the moment when Igor earned it. He decided instead of coaching that day, he'd get in the ring with the 69 kilo champion that year, the senior champion. And within two rounds, everyone knew your man was outboxed. And then in the third round, Igor put your man out. And then from then on, Igor was known as a good coach, a good boxer, had everyone's respect, wanted to start a club. And why wouldn't you? If you're going to start a club with someone, why not him? It was doing quite well in Ukraine, to be honest, you know, so it was not economical immigrant. I was already coaching at that stage. Um, I started yearning there in Ukraine, and then um, when I left the head coach, he almost, with the pain, was doing this. So he would start saying the guys that, that were there, the boxers, oh, Igor left us, he's never going to come back, and all that. So when they heard that, and, and you might, it might sound funny, I kind of said, I'll make sure what I was doing in Ukraine, I will do abroad that far away from my hometown and I'll be doing as successful and I'll be bringing national teams to this city. That's what I said to myself and probably four or five years later that did happen. На навчально-тренувальний збір до Коломиї приїхало шестеро боксерів з Ірландії. В останні на Івано-Франківщині вони були в 2000 Ladies and gentlemen, the boxers you see tonight in the evening have been training for the past week together as part of Dublin being the European capital of sport. These are a selection of boxers from around Ireland, a selection from Ukraine, England and Russia. Can you please give them the... I like the energy that's in it and I like the variation that my very first coach, Fyodor Vasilievich, introduced to me and the game element to it and art of the sport. The impression he made on me it was unreal. I was just looking at him and I, and I didn't know any, any difference. So I, I thought the way to approach your sport or, or your thing that you do, that's the only way. So I didn't see any difference. So, and then I just, I was absolutely in love with it. I was boxing young and then we played football on the Tuesday and the Thursday. And I used to kick lumps out of Igor. And Igor pulled me in one day and says, Desi, if you stop kicking me, I'll let you join me boxing club. So this is all right. So ever since then, we had our relationship started from then. That's about eight years ago now. Eight years ago, just before they left the school. After the school, then I was here. When day three was out, well, we just said, OK, we're going to train on the footpath. And we trained for about three months on the footpath. We were coming down, and we trained on the footpath, on the actual road. And we had other people standing with them, banners. The same beep if you support Smithville Boxing Club. So we were just fighting back. And then happens to be this room was available we, through the Tupin City Council. We, we were visiting centres and we've seen this line idle, you know. So we will start coming here and start training on the footpath just to show them that we're not going to just give up. It's the same as breaking into selling chocolate there or selling water. The established companies are going to be the people who are going to try and maybe not help you. So when Igor started off, I don't think he got much help from the already uh, establishment, you may say, yeah? yeah? It's maybe nine years ago I started in Smithville. I loved it. I started boxing. I had a dream to be an Olympic champion, but it's not happened every time, you know, dreams. <laughs> yeah, and you see... Uh, now we can help people to realize their dreams. But we as well teach not just for sport, that is for life. People get here habits which help them. That is discipline, that is um, take uh, dreams true to by the hard work. I didn't like, plan on starting boxing ever. I was doing like dancing at the time as well. <laughs> I think it was like the same thing, like dancing, boxing, and uh, 
I don't know. I was just kind of just kind of good. I just kept winning, and then Igor was like the main thing. Though so maybe if I went to a different club, I would have done like a month or two, and I would have just stopped it. But that's why like a lot of people leave. Now like people leave co- clubs or coaches, and when that happens, the boxer can just like go downhill from there. Kirill is a, is a special kid in many ways. The honorability in that person, the dedication, the, the mannerism. Um, overall, as a human being, I, I think he's a special kid. Um, and obviously, I've seen the certain talent in him. And it doesn't have to be Kirill. If I see the guys that they could make something out of their lives, I, I often try to paint a picture for them, what, what they could make out of, out of sport. The way sport helped me. I met magnificent people. Everything I have in life is because of sport. I just really like the training and from there the coaches approached me and asked me if I wanted to be on their team and from then I got friends and great mentors as well. It's amazing the journey you go on with them like you see them as a raw kid nervous walking in absolutely no skills and shy and then to see that develop and that you have a part of their, their lives, it's a wonderful feeling. The skills and the, the lifestyle you need to be a good boxer also contribute to being a, a person who leads a good life. If they get involved in boxing at a young age, it uh, instills in them a discipline where in their diet, in their attitude to other people and also in their self-esteem. I believe that it helps that enormously. Sometimes you can get lost in youth, you know, you hang out with the wrong people and stuff. Whereas if you do a sport that you like, you, you find the blueprint on how to win and how to succeed. And uh, not everyone gets that when they're young. And to find that is, is worth everything. From a young age, you see their like, strengths. Because so, everyone's like different physique, like we know. Like I was like really tall from my age, so I had to like do different. So like other lads were like smaller and maybe the same weight. So we all had so you kind of tailors the training towards each of the box rather than just giving everyone sparring and bag work and skipping and whatever else. So I actually stopped boxing for a while, which is like a completely different story. And Eager knew that I still had the potential and I had the potential to give back to everyone else. So he brought me back as a coach. He was like, oh, just come back and like we're not going to do it. And then like half a year later, I just got the urge to box again after like watching everyone. But, and I like, qualified. So like I did a few classes, but right now I'm concentrated on my boxing. The example that Igor leads is very strong, you know. You hear people all the time, oh, they're coming over here taking our jobs. You never hear of, oh, he's coming over here volunteering in a disadvantaged community. You don't hear about, oh, he's coming over here improving the self-esteem of young people who are, are neglected in society. You don't hear that. And so I think that that message is strong, gets stronger and stronger through the years. And uh, Igor set it up and I was glad to be part of it all the way through. Now that I've stepped back and had a look back at it all, you realise the amount of work that's gone into it. The club has achieved a lot in 10 years. Maybe even more than some clubs, like in 50 years, I don't know. But we've got a few Irish titles already, and just more international boxers, obviously. And bringing on the kids into senior level, which is like where the big boys are. The main thing is to bring, coming from the kids up to the elite level. Just keep going where we're going, that we're on a strong foot and a good basis, and produce a couple of champions, and produce a lot of good people. That's what I'd like. That, to me, that's a success story. That people that, you know, they go off and have a good, productive life. Don't forget me. Get rich. Come back and give me a few bob. Lomachenko now. I like the saying that in, in his gym. He said, you might not become a, a great champion, but a good human being you must be. And we all, as a coaches, do want the champions. But we're just as happy when we get the good human beings out of there. It's a special feeling. We sort of um, bring and think together and it's effortless. I feel like comfortable here. I feel like my family. For me, like family. <laughs> it's just something I love. Passion, you know. Yeah, we're a family, yeah. It's almost impossible to run the boxing club without all sorts of help. And we've been privileged and lucky to have people like that to help us over the years. The guys that um, 
day in, day out in the club. Desmond Maguire, who's current secretary of the club, Sean Kimmich, coach with the, with the club, and, um, and he helps out with the youth team, junior team. Sergi Pavlo, who's also referee with the IABA. Every little helps, as they often say in Tesco. So we, we really want to send a message out there, you know, that we never forget anyone, and we, we'd be very appreciative of what's been given to us. And, and I hope with, with our work that we're putting it in, we, we're giving something back. The resolution for 2018 onwards is just do it. We, we do not get carried away. This is only beginning. And uh, we, we always had this attitude and we always will have this. And it's, I hope it's not sound arrogant. Uh, but I believe if you want the success in any area, or particularly in such a sport as boxing, you cannot uh, allow to be complacent for one second. When we retired and us on pensions and then they're running with the small kids, then we tell them how good they were. Until then, uh, and, how, and maybe we'll say to ourselves, oh, that was brilliant. The second you're saying to self, yourself, oh, we have to achieve something special, I think you can forget about uh, uh, for the progress. Uh, we just want the progress.